सो हेलो यू वन टुडे इज अ बिग डे बिकॉज आज हम अपग्रेड करने जा रहे हैं इन आर अपार्टमेंट टू द फास्टेस्ट वाईफाई यू एवर सी आई विल टेल यू द स्पीड सून बट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव जी वाई फाई फाइव जी इज अ बिट कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल टॉपिक आई कैन टेल यू बिकॉज सम पीपल डो नॉट इवन गेट फोर जी स्पीड ऑन फाइव जी लेट टेल यू वाई सो लेट्स कंपेयर थ्री जी फोर जी एंड फाइव जी सो दे वॉज फर्स्ट थ्री जी विच वॉज मैक्स स्पीड ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट to megabits be small megabits per second and then we came with uh hspa plus which was faster than this we got 4g with 100 megabits per second and then finally 5g which is even faster than all of these and you know why because if you look at 3g 4g wave so let's draw 3g wave and then let's draw 4g wave and let's draw 5g wave so you can see that this can carry more data and it has more frequency so frequency has gone up but lambda which is wavelength it has gone down because wavelength is this distance so wavelength has definitely gone down so the problem is with more data so problem with more data is more frequency so there is more frequency of millimeter wave which leads to interruptions so just imagine this room with lot of millimeter waves and because the frequency is more the wavelength is less so it's more difficult to go through this wall as compared to with 4g and as compared to with 3g so for that reason there could be scenario if i go to that block wahan par 5g hai right the 5g antenna is right there if i stand there i'll be get getting 1 gbps but at home i'm getting only 120 megabits it's still good but if you go to suburbs it will be sometimes slower than 4g that's the big challenge but today i have solution to the problem of connectivity in the us on 5g this window is made in partnership with mint mobile so here's the solution if you are in the us you're more likely overpaying for your data and network plans for example i have friends who pay up to 80 dollars per month 70 dollars per month just for unlimited internet phones and calls but i was spending 15 dollars per month for the last 2 years ryan reynolds is the owner of the company and enticing right he came up with the most affordable plan in the us 15 dollars for 4 gb per month and 30 dollars for unlimited 5g data which i am using right now and this and the speed is amazing i took it to canada as well i took it to india international cost is starting from $5 my nani went to india in doha she wanted to call me i added international calling worth $5 and she was able to call me when she was going to india so mint mobile is giving you more than what you're paying for with maximum coverage powered by t mobile so what are you waiting for go to mintmobile.com/sing to get started right now now let's try the wifi connection so my wifi is actually in my closet so if you take a look at this box this can the jockey then you will see here is the router or this is the modem whatever you want to call it there is router and modem both so this is the AT&T router but this has one problem so i'm currently connected to my wifi on this computer so let's quickly do some speed test i'm going to open fast.com and we're connected to wifi right now and the speed will come out to be around somewhat 100 to 100 1 gbps or 800 megabits per second So this speed is only 670 megabit. It's a bit, you know. जब आप download करते हो वहीं download it's in bytes. So remember to divide by eight. But I got it for one Gbps. Why my Wi-Fi is not giving me one Gbps? What is the reason? Let's try our Ethernet. So this is the Ethernet connection. It is coming through a wall. So because in an apartment, all the Ethernet is through the wall. So you can connect one Ethernet to router to this wall, and that wall port will get activated. Wi-Fi turned off. and it's going to automatically detect ethernet right here speed is now 1 gbps only oh my god 1 gbps is good right but the shocking part is maine i have upgraded to 5 gbps internet on at&t but i'm getting only 1 gbps so let's first of all imagine to explain you the details let's imagine i only have 1 gbps internet so let's say i am getting 1 gbps internet on my Ethernet connection, but wireless. If I just disconnect this cable, if I take it out, I get only six hundred seven, six hundred to seven hundred. Why is wired connection faster than wireless? To explain you, wired will always be faster. Always, every single time you use the wired connection, it will always be faster. 
number one reason with wired there is less latency because when you are using wireless there is your tv there are multiple screens multiple devices there are more interruptions in the wave of millimeter wave or any wave you want to think of number two reason is with wired connection it is stable and there's one cable one input one output so it is direct and less latency and number three reason is you know wireless connection can be hacked but wired connection has less chances to be hacked so wired is more secure so that's why on AT&T's website AT&T has clearly mentioned that wireless speed will be slower than wired you can even click on see expected speed so maximum wireless speed on like iPhone will be around 200 to 400 but this is these are like 4G devices let's look at latest ones so if you look at latest one 2020 onwards on Wi-Fi 6, max speed of Wi-Fi should be 250 to 450. This is Wi-Fi 6 computer. That's why it was getting only 250 to 450 as well. Even computers, if you see 2020 onwards with Wi-Fi 6, it is 250 to 450. If I go to fast.com, if I go to fast.com, I'm not getting 1 Gbps for that reason. So for this reason, because people fight with the speed difference between Ethernet and wired connection, AT&T has actually online gateway speed test so on this gateway speed test, you can see speed of 5000 megabits per second, which is mind blowing. So this app confirms that I have connection of 5 Gbps or 5000 megabits per second, but speed aani rahi. Why is that so? Chalo yaar, wireless ka to hai. It makes sense that wireless is slower than wired. Now on my phone, you saw the gateway speed is 5000, but why I'm getting even with Ethernet 1 Gbps? Aapne abhi notice kiya that on my laptop, even with Ethernet, so aapne abhi notice kiya, even with Ethernet, I was getting maximum speed of 1 Gbps, but on Gateway, it is 5 Gbps. Why it is locked till 1 Gbps? Iska bhi reason hai. So for that, we have to investigate further. Maine bhi kaafi pada. Now let's search for maximum Ethernet speed on Windows and Mac. So if you just search why I'm not getting 1 Gbps on Ethernet on Macbook, there are three reasons. Number one reason written is router. Kya pata mere router support hi na karta ho. So let's check. So if you take a look at my router, so you will see there are 1, 2, 3, 4 Ethernet ports. But there is only one 5GB. That means this is the only port which can give me 5 Gbps speed. And that's all will give me 1 Gbps. So if I connect this. Now I should get 1 Gbps. So now this connection is coming from the 5G port. I should get 5G speed now. So let's go to fast.com. Let's see. And I can disconnect from Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi off. And it should be 5G. Oh my God, it's not 5 Gbps. It's still 1 Gbps. This is so bad. If you take a look at latency, it is 2 millisecond as compared to 5 millisecond on wireless connection. But for be 1 Gbps, I'm locked at 1 Gbps and around 500 upload speed. So, dosto, what is the reason? Kya ho sakta? Why I'm still not getting 1 Gbps after checking the port? The reason is hardware limitation on our devices. So, MacBook is limited to around 1 Gbps Ethernet connection. Uska mene solution order kiya hai Amazon se. Let's unbox it. So, this is the Sonic Tech. 10 Gbps wala Ethernet cable or Ethernet adapter. So let's open it. And this goes from Type C to one Ethernet cable. Wow, this is so big for just Ethernet connection. If you will use on Windows, you need to install hardware, but on MacBook or on Linux, you don't need to. So let's try it out. Ethan Thunder Thunderbolt in, and then finally the Ethernet cable. And now let's try the speed. Duck the Korea. Finally, this is the moment. Hopefully, ye sari problem solve kar One, two, three. Oh. Okay. One, two, three, and go. Wow. Mind blown. But fair be, this is not 5 Gbps. Wow. Do see what? Second time I got 5 Gbps. And upload is. The latency is same, 2 millisecond. It was on 1 Gbps also, it was 2 milliseconds, so it's the same. Upload speed 3 Gbps. My god, this is mind blowing. So, this will help me 
in uploading videos much faster. Let's try it out. So let's try it out. So basically this is 12 GB file. So I editors ko nahi hoti hai. sometimes so this is 12 GB file. If I try to upload it, just drag and drop here. So it takes four minutes to upload 12 GB file. Mind going. So there is a website called test file download. Here I'm going to download a very la large file, 10 GB file. So this is me download kar lete So downloading this 10 GB file dot bin and it's going to take around six minutes and here the speed is 30 megabytes. So this is bytes. So let's convert into bits. 30 times 8 is around 240. Yeah, it is still not coming as fast because now we are uploading it. So uploading is... Uh, so uploading two minutes remaining. So let's let's cancel the upload. Ada upload hoy chuka. So let's cancel the upload. Let's see if this speed differs. So it's still at 31. Why is that? So be 240 So to optimize further, let's use free download manager. So, so now using so, so now we are using FTM to download 10 GB file as you can see here download and okay so now here per speed is 3 megabits 19 megabits so what we can do is let's cancel this right so now we parallel run it's already 20 so this is this is coming 25 this is 30 so yeah add up karke this is close enough but let's cancel this Chrome is always slower so let's cancel this and just rely on this. Now I'm getting 42. So FDM is definitely faster. It's coming around 10 to 30. But kabhi kabhi niche jale aati, kabhi upar. So you know there's definitely latency. But it's still faster. Time remaining is 4 minutes. Which is faster than Chrome. I mean it is going up and down. But it's still good. I don't know how to get maximum speed out of 5 Gbps. But this is the reality. Abhi bhi dubara dekh lete. If we go back to fast.com. This is still 4GB. If you go to fast.com again, it is still 4GBPS. But I'm not getting maximum here. I'm getting maximum 20 because I think my roommates are using Wi-Fi. And you know, all the speed is like pizza. The pizza way it's divided into pieces. So that's why download karne ke time, I'm not getting 100 megabytes. Is oh, 120. It was there for a second. But it will not happen because my roommates are using. So this Ethernet adapter, this is $300 adapter which helped me in getting 5 Gbps speed and I was able to upload, download 10 Gb file in less than 5 minutes. Is it worth it? I will say no because latency is very important when you're playing games. Latency is something to server requests are based on when you send a request to download and then upload. That latency is around 2 milliseconds for Ethernet for both 1 Gbps connection as well as 5 Gbps and Wi-Fi it is around 5 millisecond if you're using Wi-Fi. But since since latency is same, gaming experience will be same over 1 Gbps and 5 Gbps. It is not worth it because 5 Gbps connection over this adapter is around $180 for AT&T and 1 Gbps per tada only around $80. So it's almost three times expensive and this is also an investment. So I don't think it's worth it. My opinion is that 1 Gbps to 5 Gbps, it's not big difference because currently I upload 2 Gb videos on YouTube, it takes around 2 minutes. Now with 5G over Ethernet connection, it will take me around 30 seconds. It is a big difference, but not like, you know, life changing difference. When 6G comes, then I will actually try it out. That will be a big difference. So that will be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.